why is it that women have to be so sexualized and so young in the media? And why is it that uh, uh, black women are so underrepresented? I very much deplore the fact that uh, every time you turn on TV or you go on the internet and you see a woman, it won't, um, it won't be somebody who's displaying intelligence, it won't be somebody who's displaying um, power most of the time, it won't be somebody who is expressing themselves in other ways than um, sexual. I find it pretty disturbing, frankly, because um, I'm um, not sure exactly how far this is going to go. Those portrayals of sexual intimacy, they have their place in, in, in human life. It shouldn't be the only means of expression as represented by women. I also wonder why one can have role models such as mother figures, strong uh, women, and I'm not saying domineering, I'm not saying aggressive, I'm just saying people who stand up on their two feet and speak for themselves. This is um, a great loss for womankind as well as uh, the whole of mankind because obviously if you look at the uh, structure of reproduction, of uh, survival of the species, we don't just have, have people who procreate physically, we have people who should procreate intellectually, emotionally, and should uh, pass on to the next generation their knowledge and their ability. The catalog of luggage, of, of language, of communication skills, one should pass on to the next, next generation. So the human race is carried on in that manner, instead of just being um, a body of people physically, it also has to be a testimony to the greatness of mankind, which is supposed to be above the, the animal kingdom. Um, from what I can see at the moment, in the most powerful media, this mankind is relegated to the level of uh, the animal kingdom, which is uh, quite deplorable because uh, the intelligence they're supposed to have, the wit and the, the, the powers, the creative powers of mankind as embedded in our genetical makeup is often forgotten and you only have the physical side, eating, having sex and um, scanting about instead of delighting in speech, delighting in uh, poetry, delighting in uh, expressions of various kinds. You just have people basically expressing themselves in a very primitive way. And I can never understand how in this age of communication, um, in this age of IT, this great structure we have around us when it comes to technology, this mankind is diminishing in that way. Great music is forgotten and all you have is basic, crude, simplistic structures for music, for instance, and structures for art, and structures for food. And this really imprisons the brain subconsciously and it's a dangerous pattern and it's reflected in the way women are portrayed. Women in the mainstream popular media as exposed to young children are represented as sex objects with nothing else to say than come and take me basically they even have hoes and pimps personalities and where women are portrayed as, 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 as prostitutes being subjected to proxenets. I find it quite disturbing because I know that uh, some young girls out there, a lot of them in fact, 
go up replaying those roles in real life but it's also encrusted in their way of thinking about themselves as well as depravity a lot of uh, illness pathology drug addiction or and frailty stages of decay almost the media is extremely powerful it is more powerful than politics as a vector for expressions and uh, ideas those 14 18 year old girls who are the main targets really are very easily molded of course being adolescent there's a lot of pressure on young girls to look that way or to behave that way to please men mainly it's basically the um, horizontal woman that's represented uh, more than the uh, vertical one and I'm not sure why one can't get a um, choice for a broader range of expressions when you know there are so many more stimuli to which a person would react when it comes to relating and identifying to another human being there are so many more areas of life to be depicted I think this is a, um, a downfall for the human race, let alone the universe. <laughs> and I'm not sure how the universe would be portrayed in all this. If you look at the bigger picture of nature, one item is being represented. Another thing that bothers me is the way darker skinned women are misrepresented or end underrepresented. Well, a lot of the modern agencies in uh, European countries, and it's probably the same in America, only accept um, a maximum of one black model and um, I know in the world of acting it's more difficult to get jobs if you're dark skinned and I'm not sure why that is because if it's a question of beauty you can find a lot of beautiful uh, gorgeous black girls and Ethiopian women are absolutely stunning they're not the only ones but they're absolutely stunning and am I a feminist? I don't think I am I think the word feminism sort of puts people into a um, sort of Narnia status at the back of a cupboard, really deprives the, the speaker from uh, having any sort of uh, credibility. It sort of uh, deprives them of a range of ideologies because uh, it's basically a label. And I'm thinking, am I a feminist? I might be. I don't care. I don't mind. I'm just opening my eyes and saying, you know, women can be subjected to all kinds of abuses of power. Can we now please stop it? Women should be protected, loved and dignified. They're beautiful creatures. They're beautiful um, assets to the community. They don't just grow to be um, sex objects. They grow to be mothers. When they are mothers, they don't stop being attractive, they don't stop being important in society. When they are curvier, they don't stop making sense, they don't stop being beautiful, and I think women should be honored, whatever their shape, their size, and whatever their color. I think women ought to have a bigger place in society. And I don't think that's too much asking, frankly. For the sake of um, the whole of humanity. Because women carry them, women carry humanity physically and to a certain extent uh, emotionally and intellectually because they have their, they, ha they have a predominant role actually. And it should be recognized. It should be represented. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.